pioneering work of Herman Ebbinghaus, Unveiling the Secrets of Memory. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed students, welcome to today's lecture on the life and groundbreaking experiments of Herbing Ebbinghaus. Ebbinghaus was a pioneer in the field of psychology, particularly known for his pioneering work in memory. His contributions have had a profound and lasting impact on the human memory. In this lecture, we delve into Ebbinghaus's life, his famous memory experiments, and the enduring insights that they have provided on the field of psychology. Who was Herman Ebbinghaus? Biography. Herman Ebbinghaus, 1850-1909, was a German psychologist who is often regarded as one of the founding figures of experimental psychology. Education and Influences Ebbinghaus studied philosophy and became deeply interested in the works of Immanuel Kant, an idea of studying mental processes empirically. Ebbinghaus's memory experiments, nonsense syllables, nonsense syllables. Ebbinghaus conducted his experiments using nonsense syllables, which were sequences of consonants and vowels with no inherent meanings, such as dax, dax, wis, wis, or zof, zof, all of which mean nothing. Methods. He memorized lists of these nonsense syllables and then measured the time it took to relearn them after various retention intervals. The forgetting curve. Ebbinghaus discovered the forgetting curve, which illustrates the rapid decline in memory retention over time. He quantified this curve mathematically, revealing that memory loss is most significant shortly after learning. Contributions and Insights Ebbinghaus's Three Laws of Memory The Law of Practice The more we rehearse and practice, the better our retention. The Law of Disuse Memory traces fade over time in the absence of rehearsal. The law of relative value of items. The ease of learning and retaining items depends on their position in a list. Spacing effect. Ebbinghaus's work also highlighted the importance of spacing and distributed practice in improving memory retention. Legacy and influence. Ebbinghaus's pioneering methods laid the foundation for modern memory research and experimental psychology. His work inspired subsequent generations of psychologists to investigate the nature of memory, forgetting, and learning. Ebbinghaus's contributions continue to inform cognitive psychology, educational psychology, and neuroscientific studies of memory. Critiques and ongoing research. Limited generalizability. Some critics argue that Ebbinghaus's use of nonsense syllables and artificial memory tasks may not fully capture real-world memory processes. Contemporary studies. Researchers today continue to build upon Ebbinghaus's work, exploring memory and cognition through their diverse methodologies including neuroimaging and cognitive psychology experiments. To conclude, Herman Ebbinghaus's memory experiments remain a cornerstone of the cor psychology of memory and learning. His dedication to empirical research and his development of quantitative methods have left an indelible mark on the field. Ebbinghaus's insights into memory retention, forgetting, and the spacing effect continue to guide our understanding of how human memory functions. As you further your studies in psychology, I encourage you to explore his works and the rich legacy he left for future generations of psychologists. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of the life and work of Hermie Ebbinghaus, a true luminary in the field of psychology.